Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. CNET has raised £600,000 in seed funding to continue helping brands and organisations co-create videos. Elevator pitch winners What Three Words has raised $8.5 million in a round led by Aramex, a logistics giant. International money transfer service Transfer Go has raised $3.4 million in a Series A funding round from Vostok Emerging Finance. And Partech Ventures has announced the closure of a 400 million euro growth fund, which will be used to invest in UK, European and US tech. And it would be impossible to ignore the political news of the week, with Brexit causing a stir across the country. There was an overwhelmingly negative response from the tech community. Michael Kent, CEO of Asimo, said he was disappointed with the results, saying this is also a blow to London's financial services industry. Many companies here depend on both EU market access and the ability and legal right to passport their services to the rest of Europe. You can read more about Brexit on the Tech City News website. Hillary Clinton put forward a set of proposals on technology and innovation that would give special treatment to entrepreneurs and startup workers when it comes to student debt. Clinton proposed allowing startup founders to defer student debt payment for up to three years. The deferrals would also be available to a new company's first 10 to 20 employees. The suggestion faced a bit of a backlash on Twitter, however. While over in India, the first $200,003 smartphones are soon to be released. There's scepticism over the potential to deliver the devices, and they may not be that smart with only basic applications. Our download of the week is Dark Sky. Given all the bad weather we've been having, you might want to be savvy about potential flooding. Dark Sky is the most accurate source of hyperlocal weather information. With down to the minute forecasts, you'll know exactly when the rain will start or stop. And finally, Uber celebrates four years of annoying London taxi drivers. The controversial ride-hailing app is now used by two million people in the home of the iconic black cab. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.